action. Well, uh, good morning there, bonjour. We are leaving Marseille this morning. We are driving to Arles. As the French would say, I'd say Arles. Um, we're gonna park the car there, let it charge, get some breakfast, check out some Roman ruins. And it's on to Nimes for more Roman ruins. And that's where we'll be staying tonight. So right now we're just gonna enjoy a nice drive to the next charging station. Good morning from Arlay. Here we are walking into the market. We have a uh, sort of flea market going on here. All the way through the town, a lot of it. It's a very pretty day out here. So right now we're just gonna walk around and enjoy the day and get some breakfast. Cody was really curious about the tacos because everywhere you see, yes, yeah, tacos with air quotes. Because everywhere you see tacos, and this is a taco. No. Now Cody's. If I good. knew anything from being raised in Texas, it was far closer to quesadilla or a burrito. Yeah. A quesarito. Quesarito. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But so, go ahead and dig in. Yeah, just take a big old me bite of that. Let's just get in there. Is it just the meat and cheese in there? Some like french fries. Oh. Is some kind of sauce? So a taco is a uh, tortilla with some sauce and some fries and you choose a meat and uh, Cody got kebab meat mm -hmm. and meanwhile I got a brochette day uh, with chicken. There's my brochette and there's my chicken. Looks, looks good. Really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Is that your traditional kebab? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. So one thing we've noticed down here in the south of France is we're seeing a lot of Russian. At least it looks Russian. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm curious why. Because even at the Airbnb we stayed at, uh, the hot and cold the shower was in Russian and it feels like there's some influence around here so we'll have to check into that but yeah it's, it's it is very curious why there's a lot of at least it looks Russian mm. The first stop is this museum. It's supposed to have a lot of Roman uh, uh, sculptures and uh, other historical artifacts that they found as they were developing the town. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. So this first area we're gonna walk through is the is Arlay before the arrival of the Romans. So this first section is what the area was like before the Romans got here. A lot of evidence of prehistoric peoples in this area. This is a column. There's a column. There's another column. No, these are very interesting that these were all here before the Romans got here, these carvings.
And over here, the Roman exhibit begins. And here we have a bust of Julius Caesar. How does it feel to meet eye to eye with a bust of Julius Caesar? Pretty cool. We've actually got some information in English. So during the war, the people of Arlay helped and then built so many ships that when Caesar won, he rewarded the town with uh, and the people with Roman citizenship and brought the city into the Roman territories and gave everybody uh, uh, protection under Roman law as a thanks for their help winning his war. This old depiction of uh, soldiers and combatants Sarcophagus, so, place for burial. Here we have some more busts. Uh, we have Caligula here, and we have Gaius Caesar and over here, Tiberius. And another Caligula, I like the two of Caligula are not in good shape and he was a scumbag, so that's okay. In town they have a amphitheater too. This is an example of what it used to look like. And we're gonna go check that out a little later. So this is another place in our lay. We probably won't be able to check out because it's a little further outside the city. Maybe we can go drive by, but this is an example of the circus that they built. and. What I always find interesting is how big these were, how much land it took up. You can come and enjoy a chariot race. Go watch Ben-Hur and see a good chariot race. So in this room, we have an old Roman ship and it was discovered in 2004 and they imagine it dates back to the 50s AD. It says it sank after a flood, but because all the tools and everything sank with it, it was preserved so well in the mud that they were able to excavate it between 2005 and 2010. But a ship like this was used commonly for transporting goods to and from one location, uh, stones, uh, antiques and bronze and things. And they had a pulley system that they used for the sails. Um, they had a, a, even a water pump that was used to pump water from the boat into a tank. And the tank of water they could then use to cool the metal stove that they had to cook food. So they kept the stove cool so it wouldn't melt. And everybody could cook and, and you could spend a lot of time on this kind of boat. So here you have an example of some excavation being done in the modern day and just kind of what it looks like. They find things and scuba dive and set those little things up so no one else goes by. There's the boat right there. And yeah, just a little showing of how they excavate all these things from the river. So this whole area was known for a big transportation of stone but also a lot of copper, lead, tin came through here uh, in the form of bars uh, for iron and ingots. And a lot of those kinds of things were taken through our leg and even northern up along the coast uh, to the rest of Gaul. So another thing that came through here a lot was scrap scrap from other places, metals, to come here and be smelted and repurposed. 
You get this old arm here and all sorts of old antiques that they found that were actually scrap that were on their way through to be smelted. Up here we have an example of some of the shipping lanes in the area and what was going to and from. As you can see from all the symbols. And there's where we are right there in our lay. All the different names for all the other different places. The relief pounders pictured workers fastening a bale. Ceramics of open wooden scenes, archaeologists have uncovered multiple tools. Balls from sailboats, carpenters, mallets. Here we have a piece of a statue of some people loading up some cargo there. So a little testament to the workers and how important they were at the time. Well, this is the call scene that's in town that we're going to see later. I like how you can see the people building it and what looked like the inside. There's a guy training a bear over there and there's some people fighting a couple bulls. There's someone training a horse on the right. And then they have this big thing on the top that could go all the way around and it'd keep people warm. It's all rainy or hot, hot days. You could sit under that and enjoy your show. So in this room we have a lot of mosaics and things here. Um, which would have been decoration for the floor, mostly. Uh, some people had mosaics on the walls, but if you zoom in on those faces over there, you got some pretty amazing detail. I think mosaics, some of the most detail we have. But yeah, this whole room, and even over there, it's just a ton of just all these different mosaics. They're all recovered. So pretty. Take a last look at the mosaics. An amazing art. We head this way towards the burial rites of the Romans. Here along the walls we have etchings that came off of sarcophagi on the sides. way down and over here you have the actual sarcophagi and many many of them and these would have been the burial rites for certain people I imagine not everyone had the uh, correct citizenship to enjoy a burial such as this is fancy but look how they adorned all these. Such detail. Look at that one. It's just like a whole story of their life, their family, their friends, everything right there on the side. Up here you have some gravestones. And what's interesting is how the gravestone hasn't changed too much when you see something like this and how similar it is to what we have today. So we can see a bit of the Roman circus here. We're down here and you can see right here. Ba -ba -da -ba. The Roman circus, part of the foundations taken over by the land. There they are. And it used to stretch all the way over there across the highway towards Arlay. Ding, 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 ding. Hey. Yeah, meow. Does it say it's the Sovereign Street? Oh. Oh.
wall from the city to the water, the river. I love Arlay. Or as the French say, Arl. But that just feels weird. And we've walked around the corner into the Republic Square. Treasures of the church. Maybe push the button first. Oh, you got it. I see. A little medallion to remember your time here. Here we are enjoying our espressos. And right up here we have the Roman amphitheater. Where everybody could enjoy a show. And then over here to the right, we have the church, and there's the Colosseum in the distance. Really nice little spot here to enjoy. What a beautiful day we have. And a biscuit, too. Nice. cool here in the Roman amphitheater and they still do shows today well the Romans don't but a lot of people and here we are at the back of the stage on this beautiful day in Arlay Next, we're gonna head back over towards the arena, the Coliseum. the uh, amphitheater, the Coliseum here in Arlay. We're gonna walk around and we should be able to go inside too. So let's go check it out. Here we are at the arena, this uh, mini Coliseum. We have the applause of the crowd to fill the air. But yeah, this is where they would once hold gladiatorial fights and uh, plays. It's a really beautiful spot here. They've got a lot of modern bleachers because they actually still do shows here. You can actually come and see a show. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Here's looking over the, uh, checking over the walls here. There's a tower in the distance. The rest of our lay down below. Beautiful clouds. Beautiful day. Here we are walking through the Promenoir, which is the covered walk. So if it has a bad day for weather, you as a Roman could walk through here and take it easy. We're gonna turn this way. And there's these stairs that go up. I don't know, it doesn't say you can't. Here where we are at the top of the arena and one of these towers. And you got a great view of the rest of Arlay. 
in the city. There's the entrance down there. It's closing time, so right now there's nobody here. But yep, here is Arlay. There's the river. We are currently walking through our lay. Uh, we'll have to get to our car soon so we can get to our Airbnb in Nimes. We're just got some time. We're exploring the city a little bit, enjoying a nice leisurely stroll back to the uh, car. And, uh, and then, yeah, maybe go get a little eclair before we get to the car. That would be nice. Here we are in the Van Gogh space. And famously, Van Gogh spent a couple years here working on some art. And this is actually where he famously chopped off his ear here at this building. Yep, Van Gogh's ear. If you want to find it, it's here somewhere. It's right it's, it's ear, it's ear. Hey everybody, we are in Nimes, France. We just left Arlay, we got our Airbnb, we got the car charging, things are good. Here we have the Colosseum, the arena in Nimes. Uh, this is something we're gonna go check out tomorrow. But right now we're gonna go this way and enjoy a nice meal, enjoy the view, enjoy the night, and get some wine, get some food, and yeah, take it easy tonight. We'll, uh, we got another maybe hour or two, just enjoy the night, and then we're gonna go home and get a good night's sleep, all right? It was a linguine with a four sauce, which we believe is a kind of herb mushroom sauce. Mm. It's really light. Yeah, I imagined it would be. Very flavorful. Well, this trip has reminded us how important it is to brush up on your French before you visit because they do not like speaking English. And I've been over this before. But they really don't like to speak English, and they don't like that you're speaking English, and they don't care that you're speaking English, and they don't want you to order at their restaurant because they don't have anything in English. They will refuse to look at you. Yes, there's they a will, lot of... um will, di will wait all day. The word is disdain. Yeah. They have dis great disdain for you. Um, but we're enjoying our meal right here. We have pasta and pizza. It's delicious. Delicious wine. Uh, but this is the end of the vlog because that's it for the night. We're going to go back to the Airbnb and sleep. And tomorrow morning we'll be back here to enjoy uh, Nimes for a little bit. Enjoy some Roman stuff. And then it's on to Valence for the night. And then the next day is Lyon to Geneva. That's right. We got the arena. We got some temples. We got some other things. We'll check it out. But, but that's tomorrow. I'm going to go eat. Good night. Au revoir. Bye.